What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing today? So much unrest going on in the world today. And I had to pull myself away from it all. Center myself. So, I have a, a sketchbook that I like to sketch, draw, whatever comes to my mind at that time. And I use that as an escape from reality. If it gets too bad, then I start watching, <laughs> I start watching cartoons. Yes, I watch cartoons. That's something I learned from my grandfather. Who, by the way, was a U.S. Army vet. Uh, but we'll get into that in a, another video. Uh, probably, I would say earlier this year, I got into learning about ancient Egypt. And I quite like it. The hieroglyphs I find most interesting because even though it was used as a form of language in the hierarchy of uh, Egyptian of the Egyptian community I use it as an art an art form. So, what I want to do is, I'm still learning how to do certain symbols, but as I learn how to do these symbols and put them together, I want to Mm, excuse me. I want to um put together some hieroglyphs in remembrance of the racist acts of uh, June nineteenth. I'm still working on that. The racist acts that have been committed upon black people in America. So, as you see, I've got a lot of unfinished stuff. But usually what I do is I put it in this book. And then later on, I transfer it to... I don't want to say painting. Eventually, I want to do paintings, but I'm I'm putting together. Uh, I use construction paper, which is like the easiest form I know how to do. And I write my hieroglyphs on there. I draw my hieroglyphs on there. I color them in, color around it, and then I laminate it. So. To broaden my my spectrum, I guess I've started uh, another project with hieroglyphs. I want to actually write hieroglyphics onto a, a woodwork. So I working currently working on a. I'm practicing my woodworking using hieroglyphs. I'm not comfortable showing you guys that right now, but in the future, in the future, the last thing I did, what was the last thing I did? This was before... You know, this was after um, no, actually this was before Mother's Day. I'm sorry. This was before Mother's Day. 
I started learning about how, about ancient Egypt last year before Christmas, but I didn't commit to learning how to draw hieroglyphs until earlier this year. Now I am a novelist. I'm a I'm an amateur, so don't expect me to be doing any sides of pyramids, <laughs> fifty foot pyramids, anytime soon. But this is one of my latest works. I like this one. Hmm, you can't see the whole book, but that's okay. This one is, let's see. Booker T. Washington, Malcolm X. There's one on as an initial at the at the uh, uh, like I said, this is just stuff I sc scratch onto the page. So each each symbol, each icon, if you will. It stands in for uh, a message or an alphabet. Like the foot. The picture of the foot is representative of the letter B. And then the snake is J. So... Like the one in the center, J, and then this one is H, and this one is K or C, depending on how you use it. So this would represent John Henry Clark, for example, which that's what I, that's what I actually was going to going for. So that's that's kind of my thought process. You know, I find something on the internet, or I find a name, I research somebody, famous black person or a black martyr, and then I try to duplicate their name some type of way in my book using hieroglyph. Hieroglyphs was an ancient language used by the Egyptians, which the ancient Egyptians were black. That's way before we got uh, kidnapped and brought to America. So it's my way of tying American Negroes back to Africa. I just wanted to share that with you all. i am got some other stuff I want to work with. Now, like I said, these, this particular page is dedicated to black leaders, black male leaders. I consider male leaders as far as uh, their, their ideas of community and, and black empowerment, knowledge. Now, seeing how, like I said, this is a tie-in with the American Negroes going back to Egypt, in Egypt, in Africa, we respected our women. So it wouldn't be fair to do a page. Ugh, it bled through. It wouldn't be fair to do a page with black men and not do one for black women. 
I might change it up. I might leave it the same. I don't, I'm not sure yet. And I want to do one with uh, black children that have been murdered in America. So that'll be my next little project. I'm almost done with the book. So once I fill this up, I'll probably transfer a lot of them to different medias. I don't know, that'll that'll come later. The Beetle, because I know some people are going to be like, hmm, that's nice, but why is there a beetle? I know what that symbol is. I know what that symbol is. The Beetle, the Dung Beetle, I thought was interesting. I think that if... If there was ever to be a American Negro flag, it would have to have the dung beetle. Because the dung beetle, to me, in this modern age, matter of fact, not even the modern age, since we've been in existence, we have always struggled to excel at whatever it is we do. We have built empires. We've built communities all throughout history. And we lost it. We lost it. We got it back. We lost it. We got it back. Then we came to America. And everything was just... It was terrible. Horrible. So, the dung beetle buries its eggs in dung, poop, animal secretion, animal poop. Well, the reason why I decided to put it into my my art book is because The struggle is real. I don't know how else to say it. The struggle is real. And black people in America. Always going through some crap. For generations. We've been born. Into. Crap. We live. Through the crap. And sometimes we die. In the crap. And. That's what the dung beetle means to me. The dung beetle literally puts its eggs, its offsprings, in the crap. And it has to struggle to get out of the crap. And then it has to take the crap that it's been given and use it to to survive. That's the black experience right there. They give us the crap of society and we have to take nothing and turn it into something. (laughs) That's just how we are. But what's, what's heartbreaking is that when we take these scraps, when we take this crap that nobody else wants and we make something positive out of it, Then all of a sudden everybody wants it. They want to copy our style. They want to take credit for everything that we built. Everything that we taught them. And that's not right. But I'm not I'm not trying to uh, get into to a, a, a video rant. I'm just letting you all know that this is what I do in my downtime when I'm not at work and I'm not making videos. I like to draw. I want to learn how to paint. Like I said, I'm currently self-teaching, <laughs> teaching myself how to do uh, woodwork with uh, hieroglyphs. So if you're interested in seeing some of my projects, Leave a comment below. I'll chat with you later.